So to recapture where we are, this is the spectrum of AI with our CARS groups, again, with the observers, explorers, and implementers. And these are the challenges that they all face. So one is consistency. So consistency even ranges from foreign languages or interpretation. So if someone asks me a question, are we going to have the same common understanding of what that ask really looks like? And definitions need to be educated throughout the enterprise. So then there's a common universal understanding. So everyone understands, for instance, what is attrition? And there's been some uh, difficulties with even tagging the information the right way because there's different choices of word choice. And with data privacy, not all of the regulations has been sorted out as we know. And when it comes to data collection, this has been a tremendous feat for our CARS partners because you have to tidy data, get good data, and have it enter at the right time and do it in a standardized way so then it's accessible and it's usable. And both consistency and data privacy and collection have global variances or global influences because there are regional laws that are associated and diverse cultural norms. But even more so, our CARS partners all have global workforces, and it's extremely uh, difficult to have to manage that volume of employees and understand all the different intricacies and even have a system that's able to manage all of that. So as you can imagine, that's a that's a tremendous feat, and it's expensive. When it comes to breadth and depth, this gets to being able to offer customization at a large scale. So is customization truly available for all levels of employees and different cross-functional groups? So a lot of the organizations struggle with offering something like that. And we like to reiterate ROI and funding so this is going to be a constant conversation, a constant give and take, because there is indeed a scarcity of resources. So again, it's about finding the justification for cause, cost and understanding the, how this is investment is worth it for your organization. And some final takeaways that we'd like to leave for you is, artificial intelligence is no longer just a hypothetical proposition or an impending future that's far, far away. But for our implementers, artificial intelligence is already here, and it's significantly impacting their organization. And that's just going to continuously evolve in the future. So you have to ask yourself, where does that leave you in this landscape? Whether you're going to be a pioneer, someone that's willing to explore and understand what AI means for them, when, how, where they're going to play, and essentially grapple with the same questions that the implementers and explorers face. Or you're going to be a captive, someone that's too late to the game and doesn't understand how their solution, these secondhand solutions can fit for their organization, or it doesn't even solve the contextual problems of the organization. And last but definitely not least, let's not forget the human and human resources. A lot of this topic is not just about an efficiency game, but we still desire human interaction at the end of the day. So AI is more so about complementing and augmenting the human capability and improving the processes that surround that to make that possible. And there's a tendency with new technology to either fetishize it, imagine all of the best possible outcomes, or on the extreme spectrum, on the opposite end, fear it, shy away from it. And as HR, we have the responsibility to act as stu stewards and shepherds for our people to cut through that and show them what reality is. Be honest with the pros, the cons, and the actual outcomes. And human resources plays the bridge of understanding.